What is going on everybody? I am super excited to be bringing you guys a video today about the new Ryobi, Ryobi, however you want to say it, 80 volt zero turn mower. We have the 54 inch right behind us here. It is the Z54LI and it is Friday, July 1st and I have received this and I think I'm one of the first people to be getting this. I think people have just started getting it this week. If you go to the Home Depot website, you might already be looking at not getting this because it's back ordered until the beginning of August. Again, I am super excited. I feel like Christmas has come early. I know a lot of these electric type products nowadays because of the price of gas and things like that, just seem to sell very quick and there's waiting lists and they just start to get back ordered and back ordered. Here we go, we got it right behind us. The truck delivered it this morning yeah. just after nine o'clock after having a nice 14 hour delivery window given to me. So I'm excited because that means we're gonna be able to get this thing plugged in and possibly even be riding this thing, maybe just go-kart it around the yard this afternoon. I just wanted to quickly show you guys, this thing came just like this on the pallet. I think they already had it in the store sitting on the floor display because the Ryobi rep called me the day it came in and he was standing next to it. I gave him my information a month and a half ago and I told him, please let me know when this thing comes in. I'm dying to get this. I've got myself just over two acres of property and we just moved to this property a couple months ago. So I've been using a push mower. Yes, that's right. I've been using a push mower to mow this yard. And it takes me probably about three days just between splitting it up because I'm down here in the Florida heat. But enough rambling. Let's get to going over this new 80 volt mower. We're going to just quickly do a little bit of unpacking, get this thing ready to charge. And then we'll resume this video with some actual ride footage and some first thoughts. But let's get this thing on the mower and show you guys some close-ups. All right, so what we'll do is we will undo these straps. If you guys are like me and you've been drooling over this thing arriving, then you've probably done quite a bit of research. But if not, we're here to go over a lot of this. What we'll do is we will get these straps taken off. We'll show you just some of the basics. This is probably what I'm most excited for. I have actually never owned a zero turn mower and I was so close to pulling the trigger on one of these a few months back. And then as soon as I saw the joystick on this and the fact that they were going to lithium batteries, I was sold. This is what's pretty neat. Push this open, pops right up and there you go. You got these briefcase 80 volt batteries in there that are 10 amp hour. So that's pretty awesome. On the side here, you got your 40 volts. Let's get this thing open. Woo, they had that strapped on good. Maybe too good. All right, so let's open up uh, this first box here. It's a little crushed. This one is gonna be the actual charger. All right, this is beastie. Wow. Whoa, this is heavy. Oh man, that's a heavy little charger right there. I'm not even gonna say little, but this thing is pretty big. So here's the back of it. You can see here some heavy duty uh, plastic right here. If you wanna mount this to the wall, it would be mounted vertically. Some crazy heat sink right there. All right, so what we'll do is we're gonna get this cap off. We're gonna undo this. I just wanna get this thing going pretty quick here. So that was in our first box. Then we got this little box right here. So in here it looks like well, there's not an extra key. There is one key already in it. So it looks like some stickers. Looks like they give you, okay, yeah. Looks like we get three keys total. So not bad, you got three keys. You got all your little warning stickers. Looks like you got some tools there. And also I'm not sure if these all come assembled like this. I know sometimes when you get these and you're ordering them, they might actually come and you have to assemble them just a little bit, but that's not what we're dealing with on ours. All right, so you can see, we still got the stickers and everything on here. On the compartment on the left-hand side, it's actually, it's got this hinge, which is nice, or, or I should say a spring. So there's that, this is actually being pulled down. You let go, it just pops right down. There's what looks like 
some little magnets right there and you can see there's a gap right now it's probably because i'm guessing these aren't pushed in all the way and they are not there's some uh, foam sitting there but these are the 12 amp hour 40 volt batteries a little bit smaller than i thought which is nice but i know they go in some of the other tools you got your cup holders right here you got our display right here some little plastic sitting on there right now buttons actually click when you push in on them they're rubber but you do have a uh, feedback meaning you know when they've been pushed which is nice got a nice seat here this uh, you just actually push to open and it just flips up then on this side you can see here there's a little seat assembly right here 40 volt connections it shows you how to put it in see assembly manual right here we got some storage we got a five volt one amp usb port we have another one of the batteries that's what i love that it comes with four of the 40 volts we got our key right here we got this is how we activate the blades they spin when it's up and then we have another port here another five volt one amp usb and then you got this little uh spring hinge loaded spot where you could actually stick your uh, phone in there uh, my big phone my little galaxy note does not fit in there though and i got a pretty thin case i guess i can push it down in there so that doesn't work but it doesn't matter it can still sit in there we got our awesome joystick you can see i can't move this right now you pull it up and then boom, and there's actually like the feedback on it, it's a little stiffer and, than I was expecting, but that's nice. But you actually uh, push this down and then it, it locks it in place. We have our little rubber side chute here. I love that this is on a spring. I'm gonna end up having to probably connect mine to something so that I can pull it into my shed and it'll fit. Uh, but this is some really heavy duty rubber right here. It's flexible, but thick and heavy duty. It's really nice. And we got our beefy rubber wheels up front. You got some hard plastic wheels right here. We got our fabricated deck. We got our parking brake there, and we got our seat with controls. So there you go. So let's uh, let's just quickly flip this to on. So you can hear you can hear a little click happen when I did that. Come over here, get the Ryobi sign, and here we go. Things are loading up. You can see it says, "Oh, there we go." So low battery. Your blades will soon shut off due to the low battery. Press that to exit. What's that? It's not touch screen, huh? low battery there we go there's a cool little compartment picture i'll try and get some different angles of that so you can see it um let's see blade check do hold to reset and then low battery all right so what are we gonna do we are gonna we're gonna turn this off you gotta find the charging port here here we go right down here charging port let's do this let's plug this in All right, so I've plugged that in. That's got a nice little glowing red on it. I'm gonna undo this one. All right, so we got this. I'm gonna open this. All right, it's plugged in. That just flipped to green. This just powered on. And I still have the ignition set to off, but you can see there, 8% charging. I do know there's an app that you can connect to this as well. So we'll have to get that app because I'm pretty sure the app will tell us what we are at in terms of charging. And I'm pretty sure it's Bluetooth. So we'll get that connected. We got to get out of here right now. So we're going to stop this video and we are going to resume once we get this baby fully charged. We are fully charged, so the display is off. It doesn't sit on and show you 100%. It actually shuts off. The actual charger, uh, it is shut off as well. As you guys saw before, it was green when it was actually in the charge mode. So we're good to go. We could power this on and we could start rolling around. Unfortunately, we're at the mercy of the weather right now. 
and having an electric vehicle. And also, I just don't wanna get this thing that dirty so soon. So we have a chance the sun could still come out, give us the opportunity to ride this around. I don't know if I wanna actually mow today. I might wait till tomorrow morning to get that first cut in and get you guys some footage of that. Uh, but I'm gonna turn this around just so you can see the yard. We're gonna do a little calculation. We're gonna figure out how much total acreage square footage we're dealing with on this lot so you guys get a good idea when we start talking about battery life and what my charge is at once we finish our first full cut on a full 100% battery. All right, so we're trying to figure out how we're gonna get this off of the pallet. I don't wanna drive it off and just risk having something get pulled or knocked off. So what I'm doing is I'm unloading the batteries here. So you have these little connectors that go on top of these briefcase 80 volt batteries there. You also have these little latches that hold the uh, batteries in place, probably so they're not bouncing around while you're driving. You guys a nice little close-up of these 80 volt suitcase batteries when they're inside you do have an indicator you can hold down shows you that hundred percent and just a better view of that compartment there A couple quick observations. You can see here, we got our little joystick control. So neutral is right there in the middle. You pull this up to actually be able to drive this, push it back down, it can't go. That's still in neutral, but more of a locked neutral, like this won't move. When you are not on the seat, the seat has a sensor in it, so that when you're not in the seat, if it is on, you're gonna hear beeping, so you might as well just shut it off if you're gonna be off of this thing for more than a minute. Uh, one other thing I found down here uh, is here, right here. You actually have another little hidden compartment right here. Then maybe throw some uh, gloves like this in there. Uh, but a nice little compartment. That's actually probably a good spot for my phone considering the size of it. Unless I just wanna throw it maybe over here in this compartment in that uh, big spot right there. Uh, but I love that you got these USB ports. I'll tell you right now, I already know I'm gonna rig up a way to install a USB powered fan onto this so I can actually have a fan blowing on me. If not, maybe have a fan blowing into the compartment where the batteries are. I think that would actually be a good way to keep them cool. Thanks for watching this unpacking and overview of the Ryobi 80 volt 54 inch zero turn. Please smash that like button and hit subscribe because next up, my first impressions and battery results from a one and a half acre mow. Thanks for staying to the end.